Marianne woke me up and said, hey, we have to go check on the flooding. This is Brushy Creek at the Jakes Hill Bridge. It's not over the bridge, but the uh, creek is out of its banks on the other side. This is the Riverwalk footbridge across Brusky Creek. What you see there are the tops of the uh, side rails. The uh, actual bridge level is much lower than that. With County Road 137 and 685 closed due to the flooding, we had to go over to the uh, toll bridge and take it across and take a picture of the Brushy Creek while we did it. Then we headed downstream looking for more flooding. Down here near Rice's Crossing, Brushy Creek is well out of its banks. Spread out all over the countryside here. This is the northern split of Brushy Creek at Rice's Crossing. Not the main channel. Taking Highway 95 north, we left Brushy Creek and headed over to check on San Gabriel River. The uh, concrete is bubbling up here. There's a big bubble where the air is escaping. It's, it's concrete, but you can sort of bounce on it like a trampoline. Over here, you can see more of it. This is on the edge of Highway 29, where it intersects with Highway 95. Almost looks like Yellowstone. But it's probably the water saturating the ground, driving out air pockets. 
and where it's capped here by the, uh, the pavement, it has to find a place to leak out. Highway 29 is closed. Heading cross country, we found a place to rejoin 29 at the crossover at Jonah. Well, out of its banks. Going west towards Georgetown, we discovered where it got a bit destructive. Shady River RV Resort really appears totally wiped out with many trailers upside down and smashed against trees. Going into town to check on the San Gabriel Park, we saw many places where the water was high and many trees broken down. But not quite as destructive as it could have been. By the time I got home and put together this video, the remnants of the storm are still in the map and could still leave some more flooding, but most of it appears gone.